This is how I went from being the worst player to being the best player in one day. This is how I became the number one player in the entire world. And I put up stats like this in the rec center. Numbers only Wilt Chamberlain could put up. And if I keep this up, I'll win unlimited layups and dunks boost and secure another event win in NBA 2K24. Today, we're going to find out if I can create history. I'm doing a $500 giveaway and there's going to be 25 winners. The big game is this Sunday between the Chiefs and the 49ers. And in honor of that, I'm giving $20 to 25 of you guys. All you have to do is sign up on Underdog Fantasy with code SOLO and reply in the comments of this video, Underdog, and then your username. As you guys can see right here, all Underdog Fantasy is, is it's higher or lower on your favorite player's player stats. You basically put all your favorite picks together and if they all are correct, you win a lot of money. And signing up with code SOLO will not only enter you in my giveaway, but it'll enter you in Underdog's one million dollar giveaway it'll also give you a patrick Mahomes one yard special and give you a deposit bonus of up to 100 dollars i'm putting y'all on there's no better time to make picks than right now for the big game lock in with code solo and let's jump into game one of the video as you guys can see in the top left hand corner there is 25 hours left in this event it is a two-day event and i have not played a singular game basically on the first day you guys can see we're getting our first games in on the night of the first day of this event you guys can see chad has 242k hobo has 229k and i have not participated so this event if you guys don't know is in the wreck and it takes your five best games and puts it against everybody else now you guys can see we're up by three 100 to 97 in my first game of the event the other team is going to get a layup to go so we are in a crunch time game in game one of the event i'm throwing it over to rc he's gonna knock that down and we're gonna get into the lineup we're gonna get into how to win this event we're gonna get into all the methods in a second basically you just want crazy stats you guys can see i have 35 assists and 25 rebounds if you guys think that's insane then you don't know you don't know what is in store in this video because it's about to get crazy more he's gonna green a crazy shot off of play take and sharp take y'all know that combo is deadly he also might have had a heat check to give us a five point lead and we're gonna get a steal one minute to go we're running the break over to mori that's a bad shot heat check moment for him because coming off that last shot he probably thought he was god or something he could just shoot whatever no bad shot they're gonna get a back door it's a three-point game we have to score i throw it down to trento who is actually a random i just picked him up from the rec lobby but he comes in the clutch for us and knocks in a three this guy's flashy passing to the corner 30 seconds we only have a three-point lead shake and bake over to rc back up top to me to maury over to shake and bake on the wing and he's shooting it oh no Oh, no, they're coming down. They're pulling up. Tie game. It's a tie game in game one of the event for me. And we got 15 seconds. I'm throwing it over to Mori with sharp take. Oh, my God. I know you got sharp take, Mori, but this, that, the shot. And they pull up. Green. Now we're down by three. Six seconds. I get it in to shake and bake. Back to me. I'm looking around. I don't really see anything, so I call a timeout. We got three seconds. Now we have two seconds. 2.6 seconds and a dream. I'm looking. I hit Maury. He back fades wide open. And he missed it. Maury with essentially three crazy shots. The first, actually, four crazy shots. The first one he hit, and then three smothered. And actually, the last one was wide open. Just didn't get it to go. A pretty good game but not good enough 32,000 that's solid but for me that's not enough now we're hopping into game number two and we're gonna skip to halftime because this game isn't the best and you guys will see why but at halftime we have 31 assists and 14 boards okay i might be tweaking this actually is a pretty good game as you guys can see we have 52 assists and 29 rebounds now we have 53 the game comes to an end and you guys can see the final stats 29 boards for me 53 assists and basically the method if you guys can't tell is you just need a teammate that could time his jumper maury shot 51 for for 74 he's pretty much going to take all the shots for us the other i'm going to get into the lineup the lineup is honestly crazy how i got this team in the first place we're going to get into that in a second but i got 48,000 for that game you guys can see i have eighty-one thousand total and i'm in eight thousandth place but all these other people have played five games again it's your best five rec games 
So I still got three more to go until I can really stack up against them. And this is the lineup. So we got Shake and Bake. Now, most of these people, actually all of them came from my friend Chad's Twitch chat. He was streaming this event and I was like, yo, does anybody want to play? Shake and Bake wanted to play, said he wasn't very good. RC was in the chat. He said he's down. Blessio and Mori were also down. I have never played with any of these people. And the only one that I was talking to was V Archon, AKA RC, because he's one of my mods on Twitch. And I'll put, I'll put my link to the to my Twitch in the description if y'all want to follow. But look at this. We are down by one, and they fouled me. Keep in mind, I got a 25 free throw. I'm on a passing big. I did not upgrade my shooting. So, obviously, I missed the shots. 11 seconds, 8 seconds. They hit their free throws. We have 8 seconds and a dream. In game number two, we are in another... Or game number three, actually. We're in another crunch time game. Over to Mori. He's shooting another smothered. I know I have play take, but Mori's got to lock in. Archon with the steal. Over to me. Two seconds. Shake and bake. What is he thinking? We needed a three, and shake and bake took a two. Now, I tried to hit Mori. I tried to hit someone for three. I was obviously not trying to hit shake and bake there, but still, you got to know the situation. That game's not very good because we lost. You gotta win. If you wanna have a really good score, you gotta win. We only got 31,000 for that game. Now we're jumping into the next game. Now, the first thing that I look for when I'm looking at the other team is their heights. I'm not looking at their three point percentage. I'm not looking at anything else, but this team does have two seven foot centers. So for me, so again, we want to go for stats. And the main thing you want to go for, it's just the best method. It's been proven in pretty much every event is you want to get assists. And that's been going back to since like 2K20. Like assists has been the best method. Like back in the day, y'all might, might remember like the lob method. Y'all would want to get a hell of lobs. This year, you want to get a ton of assists. So right here, Mori's cherry picking. He's going to miss that shot. But basically, a lot of the time, we're going to have Mori leak out or just completely cherry pick and not play defense. So when they shoot it, a lot of the teams we're going to play just aren't good because you know, that's just how rec players be. They're not very good. They're going to miss a lot of shots. I'm going to come down with the board and I'm going to throw it to Mori for an assist. So we want rebounds and we want assist. The true glitch, it's not actually a glitch, but the true method, the true way to winning this is rebounds. You could have, you know, 40 assists, which is insane. But if you only have five boards, that's really not going to be enough. So in some of these games, if we have a huge lead, I'm going to tell my teammate, yo, just miss a few shots. Let me, let me get a few boards here. Miss a few shots. We're going to run the numbers up. And it, it sucks, to be honest with y'all, that that's what events kind of have come to. But that's how you have to win them. Like, it, it sucks. But you got to play weird in order to win them. 2K, if you're watching this, please, in the future, come out with more winning-based events right here. Play take to sharp take. That's automatic from deep. Mori is locked in as he is 23 for 27 very good most of these are wide open 15 boards 26 assists for me with three steals that helps steals and blocks help a lot in events like these and also as i was saying come out with more win based events please we need more winning based events like basketball gods from back in the day we don't want to have to keep playing these events and do weird things like make an inside center that can pass and just spam assists all game. Look at me, dotting up RC. And I have 29 assists, 16 boards. RC for three again. That's going to go 30 assists, 16 boards. We are running up the numbers. And on defense, I am hawking the lanes. You guys see Mori is cherry picking green. All you need, if this event comes back out, because I want y'all to win it. I want y'all to win it. I've won it now. And also, this event gives unlimited, I believe, steals boost or or no dunks boost, one or the other. But I already had it from the NBA 2K League 5v5 event. So I was just playing this to win for the content for y'all. So sub up, drop a like, we're locked in. But yeah, all y'all really need is one teammate that could time his jumper. So if you can't find somebody that could really time his jumper, then I don't know what to tell you. But right here, I have Mamba. So every time that I'm passing, pretty much, I'm passing with playmaking take. And you know how OP that is. And now the shooter has Mamba. He's not missing. It doesn't matter what type. Well, I mean, if they're smothering him, then yeah, he might miss. But you know what I'm saying? Play take the sharp take. It's automatic, especially if your boy knows how to time his jumper. And so the other people on your team 
you can have them cut you can throw to them on like the back doors uh but basically you just want one or maybe two three shoot like everyone on the team could shoot but we have our one main shooter that's just cherry picking everyone else is playing like loose defense we're just trying to get them to miss so that i can grab the boards right here i'm getting another block with 30 seconds to go that adds up and every time my teammates are going to pass to me to make sure that i get the assist so shout out to all my teammates Shout out to all of my teammates that have played with me in this event because y'all were locked in. Shake and bake, gonna green the midi, and we win 178 to 92. You guys see my stats 31 boards, 61 assists. Oh my God. Five steals and one block. And I know 61 assists is insane, but basically, we're just throwing the break every single time. We have fast offensive plays, and you guys see 53,000. That's my first real good score. And I'm in 11th place with 165K. I haven't even played five games at this point. You guys can see in the top right, I only have four games. My fifth game is blank. Now, I'm gonna fast forward through this game. We had a bad game. 12 boards, 41 assists, two steals, four blocks. Y'all might be saying, so that's a bad game. Yeah, it's not the best because the rebounds are low. Again, I said rebounds matter a lot. You honestly want to get like 30 plus boards and 12. That's just not going to cut it. You guys can see we get 33K, which we'll see my placement in a second. Does that put me in the top five with, with in my opinion, three pretty bad games here because these 30K games are not good. And we are in fifth place with 198K. If you guys don't know, top five wins the unlimited boost and basically wins the event. So we are in top five, but there is 22 hours left. So I know that I'm not feeling comfortable at this point in time we got three pretty bad games two of them were losses we're jumping into the next game and these guys suck let's just be honest they got an AI everyone else is common tiers in this team this team is not great so we got to go crazy off the rip we win the tip I'm dotting up shake and bake 4-3 and he's greening it now I want to say shake and bake I know you're probably gonna watch this video um again most of these people maury bless um shake and bake they're all in my boy chad's chat because i didn't even i wasn't even planning on playing this event so i was like yo do any of y'all want to play this let me see what i could do and i ended up picking him up shake and bake was like bro i'm not that good like i don't think you want to pick me up i want to sell your shit and i was like you know what nah we'll we'll, we'll pick you up so for any of y'all that be thinking the same way Follow me on Twitter because I always be looking for teammates. I've been looking for teammates for these events at YT underscore solo on Twitter and turn them on notice because I always be tweeting out, yo, I need one for this event. Who wants to win? Like, you don't even have to be that good, bro. Like, he didn't really do too much. He's just here to help out. And, you know, I mean, those first few games, he took, you know, a crazy shot when we needed a three. But you, you guys get what I'm saying right here. I'm throwing it down to Mori wide open three and oh my god we're gonna have to hit those obviously you're gonna miss a few we're gonna have to hit those shake and bake though ah shit but we're bringing down the boards it's okay because if we get the boards i'm cool with it you know what i'm saying i actually prefer probably that you miss if, if i'm getting the board right here i get the board off of play take throwing it down to mori that should be automatic with playmaking takeover and we are flooding this team 67 to 20 and i want to show y'all a lot of their offensive plays because they were so bad now right here look in the bottom of the corner rc gets kicked out he got an error that said you know problem encountered with gameplay so now we are playing man down this guy with a crab but he's gonna miss it i'm throwing it down to maury with play take that's not gonna be a good shot so i'm throwing it over to bless he's shooting in the corner that's gonna be a very late but i bring down the board maury for three that's not gonna go but again i bring down the board bless for three that should be automatic off play take two sharp take and in a lot of these situations you guys may be thinking bro what are they shooting but it doesn't matter if i'm in the paint especially if i have mamba takeover i'm probably gonna get the board and those boards add up so i don't even care if my teammates are shooting smothers like you're gonna see us take a lot of smothers it's cool and something you guys might be wondering is why is scoring not the method like maury's scoring a lot and you guys can see he wasn't in the top five bro scoring like almost 100 plus every game because he's just cherry picking threes like it's just pretty easy and that's not the method though because for my points assists and rebounds is just the proven way trust me you can do it with scoring but you'd have to score like 200 plus every game it's just too tough bless is gonna green a three and i'm gonna show you some of their offensive plays because this team was so bad they started randomly throwing lobs i guess because we weren't playing defense i don't know what this team was doing to be honest with y'all like we're just we're playing some rec randoms i'm just gonna keep it a buck we're playing some absolute 
wreck Randizis. Look at him coming down. I just want to show you all some of their offensive possessions. This guy really didn't pass either. So I don't know if his teammates were mad at him, but he barely passed. They're going to hit Showtime Fat, who's just kind of standing there. We're going to talk more about him in a second. He's going to try to drive in. We get the block. They're trying to score on me in the paint or something right here. I think RC threw it down. He's wearing a white mohawk for some reason, kind of throwing off the vibes because he kind of he kind of looks like me in a way. So I think Maury might have thought that was me throwing it down, but it wasn't. Bruce, whatever the hell that guy's name is going to shoot a three and make it now they're again still trying to throw lobs at me not sure what's going on and that guy is going to get i believe graded out of the game we're going to throw it over to more you got to get a hand up buddy because that's wide open now showtime fat is going to hold ball you guys know in events like these people will sometimes be weird when you are absolutely flooding them or if they know that you are you know winning the event right here i actually block it and shake and bake gets kicked out of the game so now we only have three teammates we got the other team holding ball this is not good now luckily we are up 100 42 assists 26 boards this is going to be one of my best five games but we could do a lot better with three minutes to go we could really pad the stats here and we got the other team holding ball now luckily somehow on all these possessions that they're holding ball, I keep getting blocks and or steals as you guys are gonna see. I don't know how, but at least there's that going for me. This guy being an absolute weirdo. I mean, I don't know how weird you gotta be to do something like this, but he's just kind of, you know, just throwing our shit, bro. Look at him, he's gonna drive in. Somehow I land on the ball and get a steal. So we'll take it because blocks and steals, those are another really good source of my points, but Obviously, they're a lot harder to get. This guy's going to completely airball, so we bring down the board. That was also an AI player, so shout out to the AI player for just launching up when we had a you know ball holder on the other team, and we ended up winning 159 to 43. I got 32 boards, 52 assists, four steals, seven blocks, and that is a crazy game. Will I be able to top it in this video? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Mori with 119 points, bless sprinkled in a little 35 bomb and my other two teammates got kicked out shake and bake actually got banned for this i believe so uh, we're gonna have to pick up a new teammate because shake and bake is not gonna be able to play because of that that quitting ban or whatever you want to call it 51k my points that's my second best game so far we've only played six games and i'm in third place bro i've only been on for like two to three hours i've played six games and i'm in third place I'm really the event general 219k we got a hawk classic hobo and we got a hawk chad now we went ahead and picked up trinko I was still in chad's chat and uh this guy wanted to play so we picked him up again most of these people actually all of them I've never played with before this event but I just told them what the plan was and this is the game this is one of the most iconic games in an event that I can ever remember because we got a very very interesting team and I don't want to spoil it but y'all will see there is somebody on the other team you guys can look at all the other players all the players on the other team look at them all look at them which one is going to be the one that makes this game interesting i want you to make a guess in your head which player on the other team is going to be the iconic player from the other team because man i mean we are going to follow one of these guys through his journey and you guys can see Mori is missing on the cherry pick, but RC brings down the board. At this point, he changed his mohawk color to pink just so, you know, it doesn't throw off, I guess, our shooters if he passes to them. Right here, I'm going to throw it down to Mori. And one of the kids on the other team actually quit out of the game. You guys can see Forever Tyler quit out. And the other team begins to quit out of the game. And that's very bad, obviously, because the my points aren't going to count if the other team quits. And we are not playing like rec randoms. Like you have to go in with a team. So this is very bad. And I want you guys to hear a live listen in to this. Give it a few seconds. Here we go. Like, I feel like if a team backs out, like they all leave. Well, those kids didn't. Like, it's not Remember? like we're playing random rec. Like they went in together, you know? Yeah. Come on, make it. Fuck it, make one. You missed. Oh no, no. don't get mad, don't get mad. No, he's you're now good, he's dedicated good. to win. Don't come in the paint though, because I will block your shit. Oh no. Oh no. Holding ball or leaving? He's leaving. Timeout. Wax James just used a timeout. Wax James is fighting, bro. Wax he's James fighting. is fighting. He does not give up. No, bless, please. Oh my god, he's the only one in. No, no. Oh my god. He's not moving, he left. Fuck! He's gonna leave. Ah!
No, he's moving. He's moving. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is like the yeah. That guy kept him in. That kept him in. That kept him in. Hundred percent. Did he just make that? It counted. Yeah. No, it didn't count, but he made it. He's so bad. But he's so bad. No, he can't. No. He needs to leave him open. He actually does. He missed again. Come on, please. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, you wanted to bounce. No, James, you're okay. Don't leave. Is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. No way, James Wax. Just maybe it was like a pickup team, like from the rec lobby. They don't actually know each other. Yeah, maybe. Bro. He's so bad. I can see why he's playing this out because he probably can't get another team. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so. I feel so bad. Wait, he's not moving. Oh shit! No. No, Wax James, please. Yes. yes. James. Bro, you shot like 20 slightly early in a row. You. Does it matter that he's that missing? He... Like, is he just gonna stay? Like, you bro, think, think it would make dedicated. him more mad? He's getting yeah, open he's... every time. He's dedicated, bro. Look. Like, bro. bro how is he not made a shot? <laughs> this needs to be studied, bro. This shit kind of looks like we're boosting now. Cause, I mean, I'm getting boards. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, but free boards. it's I'm not really boosting unless you talk to the other team. I know, but like, people don't. They can't tell if we're talking to their team. Yeah, I would just not put this in the video. Well, I will. I'll just tell him. Bro, I mean, he's terrible. I'll just, just make a montage. I just gotta missing. say, when people start quitting, we just leave them wide open. Like, let them have a fucking field day. This game is the iconic performance of Wax James. You guys can see his whole team quit on him. They didn't believe in him. But it was Wax James's time to shine. He's getting some shots up. He's getting a little shoot around. And I'm gonna be honest, this guy Wax James is probably like a 10 year old because what other player is this bad? I think if you go back to the beginning of the game, he's like a 90 overall like common tier. So he's upgraded. It's not like he's a 60 overall and he just cannot hit a singular. Oh shit. Okay, James, from your own. He, he'd make like one out of every like eight, bro. And it got to the point where I was genuinely rooting for him. You could hear me in the gameplay and the live listening when I was talking to RC because I don't want him to quit. We're having a very good game. You guys can see 30 assists and 23 boards. It's still the first half. I don't want this kid to quit because we are having a crazy game. So I'm genuinely rooting for him because I don't want him to keep missing and then get mad and quit. You know what I'm saying? So I want him to knock down shots. I want him because Maury is cherry picking and he can shoot over the AIs. And also, Maury's opponent, like the guy that lined up against him, is Wax James. So Wax James can't go back to guard him you know what i'm saying so maury was open a lot on the cherry picks and then even when we were in the half court which is very rare because wax james just kept missing so we could just throw down the cherry pick wax james just doesn't know how to play defense either like he barely contested maury now we're in the second half 33 assists 26 boards and this is where james is going to start to experiment here in a few plays it's going to get kind of interesting right here james is going to take a midi that's not going to go we're up 90 to 24 and I honestly wonder, what is Wax James thinking? Like, in the comments, what do y'all think is going on here? What is Wax James cooking? Like, I just don't know. Now, right here, Wax James is going to start to experiment. He's going to come into the paints. Okay. He's thinking about it. Oh, my. That's not going to work, James. I'll let you shoot. We're going to let you shoot because you can't hit shit. But you got to stay out of the paint because I will snatch block your shit. I will send your shit into the crowd if you try to come into the paint, uh, Wax James. So, please. Just stay out. Just stay out. Now here, Wax James is actually going to get a contest. And he's going to run coast to coast. Getting the layup to go. That might be the highlight of his day. Uh, he probably ended up clipping that. Who knows? But we are in the fourth quarter now. And the stats are looking like crazy. 50 assists and 41 boards. Wax James going to bring it out. He's coming into the paint. James. No. Stay out of my paint. I thought you learned the lesson. I'm literally letting you shoot right here he's gonna get the layup to go we're up 156 to 40 and this is one of the craziest if not the craziest event game that i've ever played in because this is like a dream come true like of course it's it's not a real you know five on five competitive ass game but in an event where you need the most my points and you go up against a little nine-year-old or whatever you're playing and his whole team quits out but he's just shooting and missing i mean can you name a better scenario can you name one like i don't know so 
from the whole solo squad from all of the viewers from from me from my team we would like to thank you wax james for not being a quitter like the rest of your teammates and for thugging it out you know what i'm saying you're, you're gonna improve if you're watching this he probably isn't james one day you can also be an event general an event winner like myself so right here wax james gonna kind of get a hand up he does off of play take to sharp take wax james is gonna get a stop he's coming down the court coast to coast wax james pulling up nah that's not his body stay in body wax james because that's not it and we're gonna score 200 points it's looking like maury if he can knock this down bang 200 points in a rec game because wax james i mean i don't got to explain it wax james gonna knock one down pretty much at the buzzer here we're gonna try to throw a lob but that doesn't go we win 201 to 69 and this might be the best rec performance that you will ever see 50 boards 67 assists with two blocks maury was shooting cherry picks every single play 198 points shout out wax james if you take this box score let's say i tweet it out you're gonna say that's insane they're cheating they're boosting they're doing something i just included eight minutes of the gameplay y'all saw the live listening y'all saw everything Sixty-three thousand, sixty-three point eight thousand. my points oh my god we are in first place by 6k classified hobo waffle k they are nowhere near us chad is the only competitor and we still have a few bad games in our top five now right here this team is very bad and we're going crazy 11 assists six boards maury's just gonna shoot right over this guy i think that might be an ai player because yeah um this team starts to quit we're, we're flooding them and they start to quit and as you guys know if it's an ai player they're a little bit easier to shoot over ai players are pretty good this year but against somebody with you know sharp take especially with me with you know hall of fame dimer and all these badges it's kind of easy to shoot over a small ai player we're gonna throw it down to mori right here to start things off we get a board we get an assist we're up three nothing now i want to say this is a mid game and this is a very weird team we're playing bro is post fading i don't know what's going on like post fading and wreck got it bro if, if you're gonna i mean actually let me not bash that because i know there's gonna be people that are like solo like bro it's a part of the game it's a part of it is it is so let me chill on them let me chill on those post faders out there but it's just a little weird you know what i'm saying in today's 2k it's a little odd so we're playing an odd team we end up winning and this is a very high scoring game 178 to 138 they were actually pretty good they just played weird and like fundamental i don't know it was a weird game 59 assists but i only had 19 boards four steals and one block so pretty good game but the boards are low is that going to be enough yes it is 41.3k that's going to top our last game our fifth game and now we have all of our top five games in the 40k plus my points and we are in first place by 13k now we are gonna pick up pokey um trinko got bored uh you know he pretty much wasn't doing much again we pretty much just throw it down to maury and the other guys are just kind of here to help so trinko shout out to him he helped us in one of the craziest games ever against wax james and that last game so two of the top five games shout out to trinko for playing but we're gonna keep on moving we're in first place and we're gonna add to this lead hopefully will we We'll find out. I'm throwing it down to Pokey. His first play on the team, and Pokey's going out of bounds. His name might be Poke. It might be Pokey. I'm not sure. I also, again, was not talking to this guy. This is another guy that I just picked up from Chad's chat. Chad was playing the event, too. As you guys know, he's in second place. And again, I was just in the chat. I was like, yo, who wants to play? I'm going to see what I can do in this event. Maybe I'll be able to win it. We're in first place, so y'all kind of know the answer to that. Six to two, and this guy's going to pop out in the corner and knock it down. We're up six to five. I'm throwing it over to Bless. That's not really there, so he resets it over to me. I throw it over to Mori. That's open. Bang. Three assists, one board. And I'm going to bring in another board right here, and we are going to come in to the end of the first quarter as I fast forward. And the stats are looking like 10 assists and four boards. And now we're going to start to do a little bit of an off-ball method actually rc aka rcom whatever 
he got on a off ball build aka a strength build something that can set screens before he was just kind of on like a sharp or something so now archon to make the offense run even smoother is going to be setting off balls for our shooter which is something that i did in a lot of the other events like 90s boot camp uh those events if you guys watch those videos off ball with the sh oh my it's just it's unstoppable i'm not gonna lie it's unstoppable shooting behind an off ball this guy's just having a field day we're not really sure what's going on he's dribbling out of bounds he's dribbling circles i'm bringing down this board throwing it down to mori four three play take to sharp take actually that's mamba to mamba blessed is gonna fade a three and that's actually good 31 assists at halftime with 11 boards so we do want to get those boards up it is a kind of low and as we get to the fourth quarter fast forward 43 assists 19 boards so we did get some more boards bless I, or was that mori that was mori is going to miss a shot we're going to want to take some better shots than that one i'm throwing it down to pokey i found him wide open 44 assists 19 rebounds and in a lot of these games well, I'll just say, I mean, a lot of these games, you're just throwing it down to the cherry pick. It's pretty easy. But when it is in the half court and we're actually running an offense, I really got to be a floor general. I really got to find the open man. And again, I wasn't even talking to my teammates. So we could have run this even smoother if I was in a full party chat with them or whatever. I could have been calling back doors. I could have been doing all that. And that's probably the best way. But the way I did it, we didn't even do back doors. We pretty much shot only threes, like no two pointers. I don't know what this guy's doing or how that went in, but this is the end of the game. We're up by pretty much 100. Maury from three to give us the 101 point win over this team. And the stats are looking pretty good. 26 boards 62 assists with a steal and two blocks maury shot crazy good that game we have a bunch of games where maury shot pretty bad that was one of his best games 132 points for him but we did sprinkle it around to everybody so it wasn't just him scoring 49k for that game that's gonna be our fourth best game and we're just adding to the lead we're going for swag at this point 266k we are in first place with 20 hours to go this team has no bigs? Am I seeing this right? Their tallest player is six foot eight. This is the game. This is the game. It's time to lock in. And I don't know how I didn't get that lane, but bro, I'm bro. I'm six foot 11 with like a 90 something rebounding. This is the game. We got to go crazy and we start doing the method. If you watch any of my other event videos, you already know about it. RC start missing a few shots i got mamba take you know what let me get a few boards we're gonna stat pad a little bit we're gonna do the russell westbrook now let me chill because i know there's about to be some russell westbrook stands in the comments like bro he's he's legit he wasn't stat padding no i know he's a great player but i'm just i'm just i'm just drunk i'm just joking bro i'm just trolling i'm just trolling but look at me we're gonna do the method a little bit here while i do have mamba takeover i only do it when i have mamba takeover and right there we only got like two boards out of it so sometimes it's not the best and rc is gonna try it again we're gonna see how many we can get here i only do it like a few possess like one possession two possessions like i don't do this too much but sometimes especially if they're small and you can just shove them out of the way you can get boards fast so rc is gonna keep missing that's three boards from this possession that's gonna be four i'm up to 15 back over to rc i wonder what my other teammates were thinking and finally they get it but we're at 22 boards 18 assists as we near halftime pokey for three actually no we're doing the method again my bad we're doing the method again pokey is not that bad we were just sprinkling in some more rebounds and we're at 28 rebounds at halftime i've definitely never had 28 rebounds at halftime in any of these other games 23 assists as well and so this is a game where we might be able to get 50 boards we might be on our wilt shit bro we might be on our wilt chamberlain video game like numbers rec performance right here we're at 26 assists 29 boards we're doing the off one method top of the key to pokey that's gonna be green the other team's missing i'm throwing the cherry pick down to pokey and to be honest with y'all this doesn't really have to go in the video but some of my teammates got mad that i was hitting pokey too much because again he is the new addition to the team we are playing with mori and you know bless and they started to get a little bit upset that pokey was shooting the ball a little too much um i don't know again a lot of the time the teammates aren't doing too much it's just kind of one or a few people shooting 
Right here, we're going to turn the ball over and bring it down with Mamba Take. Top of the key to Mori. He's going to fade that and miss it. I do luckily, or not luckily, but I do bring down the board. But we're going to get a turnover. Turnovers definitely don't help, but at least it was a fast possession. And they take the dunk. Pokey going to get us another assist. As now, nearing the end of the game, we're at 49 assists, 43 boards. And that's going to be our 50th assist right there. Can we get to 50 boards we have a minute and 30 to go it's gonna be tough there's another one 44 boards we're gonna throw it straight down easy assist just like that bro in the span of three seconds we had another assist we had another board and pokey is gonna fade and miss i'm not sure if he's trying to miss on purpose here but he ends up making it so we did get one board we're at 45 52 he's gonna try and miss again but i mean bro missed everything Bro shot that one into the crowd. We're going to get one on defense. Pokey going to get us the assist. We're at 54 assists. Now we're at 48 boards. Pokey going to take the back door. Can we get to 50 boards in five seconds? I mean, that's not going to happen realistically. So we hit it to RC. Back over to me. Over to Pokey. And bang. That's going to finish off the game with 48 rebounds. 56 assists. Two steals. One block. I don't think that definitely doesn't top the Wax James game because that's just one of the greatest games of wreck on youtube of all time an iconic performance from wax james i don't know what's going on here it's like glitching out can't see my score but we're at 274k first place there's 19 hours left basically 20 hours left and i'm done i'm like bro my lead is so good i don't think anyone is going to knock me out of the top five all right y'all as you can see there is now under a minute left in this event i have not played a game in the last 20 hours that haven't been played on day two of this event and you guys can see we are still in first place with 274k this guy got really close to our score fear v show at 265 chad is in third with 245 and then you guys can see i mean the rest we were just way ahead of them i do want to say last time this event came out they added an extra 24 hours and this event went on for another day so we're about to see if that happens here's the final countdown four three two one the event should be over i see the little loading ball in the right corner the bottom right hand corner i don't know if y'all saw that we got first place i'm pretty sure wait the loading ball is back in the bottom right hand corner okay i don't know i don't know if this event's about to add another 24 hours let me check let's go back in yep it says zero 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 i mean the event should be over we've officially placed number one in the top five events and now I guess it's just a matter of time before the rewards pop up. There we go. We just got it. Congratulations. Your rewards. Press A to continue. Prize one. Top five players receive 25,000 BC total. Unlimited layups slash dunks and tier one prizes. So we got the arm sleeves. We got 25 Gatorade. And we got the top five banner. Now, something that most of y'all probably don't know is if I go to progression and get boost, you guys can now see we have unlimited layups and dunks, unlimited steals, and unlimited ball handling slash passing. So I just got unlimited layups and dunks from this event, but I already had that from winning the 5v5 NBA 2K League event. So I technically just got 25 KBC. And honestly, I just won this event for the video, for the content for y'all. Sub up if you guys haven't already. Smash the like button and pop it up on your screen right here is me winning another event watch this video if you haven't yet